And happy Chinese New Year, guys. We're in Saigon with her right now in the Flower Festival. Here is the first day of New Year. It's the, the year of the tiger. And uh, I'm so stoked to be here. Everything is beautiful. It's packed with locals. I have yet to see any Westerner, any tourists, but it's just so many locals and we're just having such a good time here with family. So uh, let me take you around. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Tet is the most important and popular holiday in Vietnam. It is the Vietnamese New Year marking the arrival of spring based on the lunar calendar. The dates of Lunar New Year differs every year, but it generally takes place around late January or February. Tet holiday is considered the best occasion for family members to return home, get together, and rewind. Vietnamese typically take 7 to 10 days to celebrate Tet. Due to the high regard in which Vietnamese people hold it, Tet is celebrated with unique, distinctive colors and flavors. So there's a variety of skewers that you can get here, but we're getting the uh, papaya salad with uh, with the rice field crab. It's done right here, Thai style, right on the street. You cannot beat this. Next time we got okay, that was sixty thousand Vietnam dollars. So that was about two dollars and fifty six, like two dollars eighty cent. You cannot beat this. It's so good, and there's a bunch of skewers done right here in front of you too. So here we go. Yeah, everything seems together. But there's a whole crab, there's a whole pieces of crab with the shells on. I don't want one of those. So cheers. Right here on the street. Oh, beautifully flavored. The crab flavor is really in there. The fish sauce and everything. Wow, that's spicy too. Really kicks in. Mm. Woo! Great time, man. Good place. <laughs> okay, okay. Blue boot. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, no, no. No, okay, no. Come here, come here. Too spicy. Too spicy. And the one thing I love about Vietnam is everyone out here is wearing a mask. Everyone's wearing masks. I'm just taking my mask off just so you know I could talk to the camera and I'm not close to anybody at all. Uh, people take it very seriously. There are soldiers everywhere. Not everywhere, but like there are police and you know they're, they're just constant reminder that you got to put your mask on. <laughs> Not too sure if people know this, but uh, they're not supposed to touch the guides. And uh, these people, these two, are not that convinced, and they can see their eyes just kind of checking people out. But uh, it's hard work, man. Yeah, everybody enjoying Ted, and they're just out here working. Um, they're hustlers. <laughs> Uh, for about two to three dollars, forty thousand to sixty thousand dong, you can get uh, you can basically get a whole meal here. Uh, there are deep fried chicken legs over there, chicken wings over there, with some uh, fried rice also. This is where you can get it, just right off the street, right here. Just this is where it's that man. Wow. These tigers kind of look like the tiger beer tigers. I'm not sure if they're the sponsor, but uh, they look kind of hella suspicious. Probably uh, branded. And I think it's very important that we give a shout out to uh, to all the sanitation workers here. Um, of course, it's this beautiful place full of fresh flowers, people, beautiful flower everywhere, beautiful people, and there's just people having fun, celebrating Tet and New Year. But there are people just, you know, behind the scenes just working, keeping it all alive, keep it all fresh and beautiful, keep it all clean for all of us to enjoy. And we need to admit, we need to acknowledge their, their hard work and their, and their effort. And a happy new year to all of you too. Em làm nếu mà nghề thì em làm lâu rồi anh ạ. 
Người mới biết làm thì em nghĩ rằng uh, Không nói về đẹp thì uh, chỉ học một vài buổi là mình cũng có thể mình làm được Các cái này là em làm bằng bột nếp anh ạ À, à, vâng. Nếu mà nguyên liệu thì đã ăn được Có cái bây giờ bọn em dùng phẩm màu công nghiệp Thành ra là cho các bé yeah. Cái màu nó sáng Thì là cho các bé chơi thôi Còn đâu như ngày trước thì quê em làm bằng màu thực phẩm Thì là cứ chơi xong là hấp cơm ăn We just got the mermaid figure done. This is beautiful. The skills that goes into making one of these. He's been doing this, you know, his whole life since uh, ever since he was a little child. But just look at the beauty of this mermaid. <laughs> it, it's simple, but it's not. You know, it, it takes a whole lot of skill, a lot of dedication and practice to, to make one of these right on the spot like this, just to sell it and you know, keep up with the demand. Insane. This is fifteen thousand dong. So it's about seventy cents, sixty to seventy cents. Children's toy, so cool. And this is a very popular street snack that I grew up with here in Vietnam. It's very cheap. It's a dollar, less than a dollar for a ten pack of waffle. And uh, some of these, this is fifteen thousand. Chia cho em xin một cái này nha. Mấy cái, cái. And this is fifteen thousand dollars, which is probably what? How much is that? That is about. 55 to 60 cent for uh, this is a 10 piece. Yeah, there are 10 pieces of these. So incredibly good. Uh, it's right there, done right in front of your eyes, it's right here on the street. It's fresh every time, it's hot, it's crispy. You cannot beat this. I just love Vietnam. I, I, I could smell this like a mile away. I actually, I smelled this stall and I came here to check it out. So good. Okay, uh, here, oh, this one is still very hot, you know, given the sample here. All right, let's get on. It's coconutty, it's milky, it, it's sweet, it's extremely crunchy and crispy. Hey, what's up? Wanna try this? Ăn không? Ăn không? Yeah, here. Yeah, here. <laughs> wow. Extremely crispy. Less than a dollar snack. That's what you get here in the, on the street of Vietnam. This is a very typical Vietnamese traditional uh, children's toy back in the day. So it's just a bunch of, it's just basically a Vietnamese origami folded into like a snake in a, a, a rat shape. And it is called, literally called a uh, rat and, and what is it? Uh, snake and rat. So it's $20,000 or basically uh, less than a dollar, 80 cent for one. But it's just the intricacy and the skills that goes into making one of these. Just incredible. And right behind me now is the Saigon Grand Opera House. This is another piece of architecture that was built by the French in the 19th century. It carries a lot of that architectural symbols and, and you know ideals that the Civic Hall carries also. And it's another, it's just right off the street here. Just turn the corner and it's going to be right there. Uh, check it out every time you come here, right? Man, crossing the street in Vietnam is insane. Look at that. You can see they're having a rehearsal practice here. They're probably just doing it for the closing ceremony in a few days. Uh, but I can see a bunch of dancers just like practicing and rehearsing right behind us. Let's check it out. My God, crossing that street from the Grand Opera House to here is just insane. The traffic here is just, oh my God. If you survive Vietnam traffic, man, you can survive anywhere. It doesn't matter. Woo! And as of right now, I'm standing in front of the uh, Ho Chi Minh City Civic Hall or Saigon Civic Hall. It's a beautiful architecture that was built by the French in the 19th century. Um, and it has a lot of that, you know, French colonial or, uh, um, architectural design on there, but it's just a gorgeous building. If not one of the most beautiful building and historical building here in Saigon. And it's always worth a visit whenever you come to Saigon. And that's it for tonight's video, guys. This is a beautiful spot to end the video here. Um, I had a lot of good time with spending here with my, uh, my family here at the Tet Flower Festival. And uh, stay young, stay hungry. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Saigon has so much to offer. We gotta check all of them out. I'll see you later, all right? Bye.